I wanted to talk a little bit about the video that I just made. I was contacted by Sangyo who asked me if I'd be willing to try out a few of their new Exact-D cameras. They sent me the CS1. I like this one in particular because it's so small. It's tiny. This is my cell phone and this is the camera. It's my cell phone is actually wider than this video camera. I couldn't believe it. And this right here is the other camera that they sent me, which is the SH1. Now explaining the content of the video requires me to tell you about Kona the dog herself. I love Kona. Kona the dog belongs to some friends of mine. And since I'm not responsible enough to look after a dog myself, I dog sit occasionally or beg them to let me borrow Kona for a day. And I love taking her for walks or to the dog park. Now Kona, bless her little doggy heart, is not an actress. The awkwardness you saw in the video is real. The idea for the video actually just came from taking Kona to the dog park and watching her interact with the other dogs and speaking her inner monologue aloud as we watched her. I really like to put human traits on animals and make up like voices and say what cats are thinking. I think it's fairly normal to anthropomorphize animals. The other appeal of using Kona for the video was that she's so fast when she plays. I thought that it would be an interesting way to show off the frame rate capabilities of these cameras. And I'm really happy with what we managed to film. It's interesting, like you see all her muscles moving and the like drool coming off her mouth and stuff. It's kinda gross. So I asked two friends to accompany me to the dog park and we each sat in a different area with a different camera <laughs> filming Kona for about 40 minutes. I don't know if any of you have spent a lot of time around dog parks, but I've seen some scary stuff go down. Dog people are crazy. Luckily none of the other dog owners bothered us at all when we were filming and I hope I don't offend them by making fun of their dogs. The video was fun to film and edit, and I really enjoyed doing the voiceover. I identify with Kona so much, I think we really all do. Kona is that awkward kid in high school who, you know, always tried to fit in with different groups. She knew a little bit about what they were talking about, but she didn't quite get it. She's just on the outside of comfortable socialization. She's a little awkward. I love her, she's very sweet but I think she's happier with humans. It was really easy to film the clips and get them off the camera in all cases. They're just stored to an SD card and you drag the file onto your hard drive. Really simple. This is the other CS one that they sent me, which I really like because it's pink. The SH1 was really cool because you can shoot different frame rates. Normal HD allows you to shoot 60 frames a second, but this camera has the option to shoot 300 frames a second. So in other words, 10 seconds becomes 50 seconds and everything looks about five times slower. And with this camera you can even shoot 600 frames a second, which is amazing. But the video quality is somewhat diminished when you use these frame rates. For the slow-mo shots in this video, we shot at 300 frames a second. And in my opinion, it looks pretty cool. Another cool thing about these cameras is that you can shoot video and pictures at the same time, which is pretty useful if you want to film something but also have a still image and not want to go in and take the frame out. Anyway, the video was fun to make and I was happy to be able to do something about Corona finally because she's been so fascinating to me over the past few months. The cameras are really awesome, they're so portable, they're easy to hide if you have obnoxious dog owners around you while you're filming in the dog park. Plus, plus, plus! Bye. Thank you for letting us film you.